to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a review um, and swatches for the Too Faced White Peaches palette. Um, I picked this up as soon as it was released at Sephora and I definitely have some thoughts for you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump right into the swatches and then we will go to thoughts afterwards. Um, I also want to say please excuse my wrinkly background <laughs> it's in the process of um, I'm testing it out to see if it is something I want to keep for my springtime videos um, but anyways let's go ahead and get into the swatches and I will see you guys in a minute So there are all your swatches right there. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the box. This is what the box looks like. You do get the ombre effect from purple to white. On the back it says, White peach was created with matte, shimmer, and glitter shadows that add dimension and light to the rest of the Too Faced and Peaches and Cream collection. Infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream, the palette features an assortment, an assortment of sparkling peach, champagnes, soft pinks, and deep plum shades that smell and feel delicious for a modern way to take your peaches and cream look to the next level. So going along with the box, the actual palette looks exactly the same. You have your ombre effect. It looks just like your Peachy Mats palette. Um, it does have your little peach tab right there. And you do get a full size mirror, just like the last one, if you can see that. Um, and then there is your palette right there. Now I was really, really, really excited for this palette. I love the Peachy Mats palette. I think Too Faced has been on a winning streak so far. They have come out with a lot of good products. Um, so I've been super, super happy with them. And I was really looking forward to this palette. However, <laughs> um, this palette is not working for me. I try to create like six different looks with this palette. I have used every single shade in this palette. There is not one shade that I did not try to use and nothing worked for me. Everything was awful. It was ashy. They just, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know. I have... A couple different pictures I'm going to insert here. Um, the first picture that you see is going to be um, all of the fallout that I get um, when I used this one right here. There is just a crazy amount of fallout all along my face and it was just a hot mess. So this is the picture. All right, the next picture that I am actually going to insert is when I tried to use a uh, creme de la peach, I tried to use this one right here. Um, I wanted to put it on my lid as my lid color because it was a really good color for the crease. So I wanted to see if maybe if I could do something with it on the lid and that did not work out. It was patchy as heck. Oh my gosh. And then there was just fallout all over the place. You can definitely see it in my eyelashes and I will go ahead and insert that picture right now. All right, so, I mean, those, they look awful, don't they? Oh my gosh, okay, so let's go ahead and get, we, I have a couple thoughts um, about a lot of these colors, so we'll get into them 
I don't want to blind you guys. Okay, so we will get into them. So this one right here, which is called Peach Cream. Um, I really thought this would be like a cream color. Um, however, anytime that I applied it, whether it be with an eyeshadow primer, without an eyeshadow primer, I tried three different eyeshadow primers. It ended up being like a solid white on my eyes, and I could not make that work in the looks that I was trying to create. So I did not like that. This one has to be one of the best colors in here. I really, really enjoy this color, but you really have to build up the pigment in order to get it the color that it looks like in the pan. Anytime I applied it on my eye, it was just, it looked faded. The color looked really faded. Um, these right here, <laughs> This one is a joke. I could not get this to be a full pigment on my eyes. There was nothing I could do with this. Um, you saw the picture of what this looked like. That was a hot mess. Um, this one right here. Now, I heard a lot of people, or I'm sorry, I've seen on the internet that people think that this one is the same color from the um, uh, Sweet Peach palette. We will compare those in just a moment. Um, this one right here is definitely a lot lighter than what it looks like in the pan, um, so I did not like that. I thought I could use this for my outer crease color, and that just did, did not work at all. It ended up looking really, really ashy. Um, this color right here is absolutely beautiful. It is a gorgeous inner corner um, color, but I cannot keep this palette for one color. I'm sorry, for two colors. I just, I cannot do that. Um, this, at first when I looked at it, I thought it was a black, but anytime I put it on my eyes, it looks gray. I just kind of wish that this was a black, um, or a little bit deeper, not just, it comes off really, really gray. This color, okay, this color I have mixed feelings about. It is absolutely beautiful. If you can see that right there, the micro glitters inside of it are just gorgeous. But my problem with this color right here is if you start to blend it, all of that falls out. That's why I had all that fall out all over my face. And you are left with nothing but a solid black. So all my glitter was falling out and I was just left with that black and I was not happy about that. Also I found out that th these two colors right here are definitely best applied with your finger. Um, a brush is not going to work unless you wet it. Even when I did wet my brush I had a hard time. Um, but this palette is just full of complications. It is full of fallout and this is a huge disappointment. I am so sad about this because I was so excited for it. I'm actually, I'm a little upset. <laughs> this palette is actually going to have to go back to Sephora because there is no way in heck I'm going to keep this palette at all. So let's go ahead and do that swatch comparison um, with Glistening Peach and the one in the uh, Sweet Peach palette. So you have a couple different ones. You have Just Peachy and then you have Bellini. So we're going to take both of those and then we're going to take the glistening peach like that and we are just going to swatch all three side by side. All right, so this is your Just Peachy, this is Bellini, and then this one is the Glistening Peach. I would say these two are kind of similar, but you could definitely can tell that they are different. This one has a little bit more of a purple undertone, and this one is definitely a little bit more pink. They are definitely all three different colors, so I do not think that this is a copycat color. Now, I had looked at all of the other colors compared to the palette. I compared the Sweet Peach palette and I can also compare the, um, the White Peach palette and I do not find any similar shades. Every shade is completely different to me. Um, I also compared uh, your Peachy Matte palette with the Peach 
the White Peaches palette. I did not find copycat shades either. These are com two different complete palettes. Um, no shade is alike. So even if you look at your two lightest colors, you got your uh, you got your top light color here and you have your top light color here. We will swatch both of those. All right, so these are your two swatch comparisons right here. They are different. This one is from your Peachy Mattes palette. This is from the White Peach palette. This one is more of a cream color, uh, kind of with like a yellow undertone to it. And to me, like I said, this just comes off uh, almost white, especially on my eyes. They, it comes off like a solid white. Um, so they are different colors. So. I don't find in any palette that I own from Too Faced, none of the colors in here are the same. Um, so let's just go ahead and round this up just because the, I'm, I'm not happy right now. <laughs> um, I think that This is definitely a missed opportunity. They had a chance to make another amazing palette to go along with the Peachy Mattes palette, and I think they failed. There is nothing in here that works for me. Like I said, I tried like six times, six different looks, um, and nothing worked. Nothing worked. It was terrible. Now, after doing my own thing uh, with the palette and kind of working with it and seeing what it was like for me I went ahead and I watched the review by one of my favorite youtubers glammed it and um, She had some complications with her palette. She had a lot of fallout when she went to put her brush in I didn't have that problem. The only fallout I had is when I actually put it on my eyes That's the only time I had it everywhere um, But as far as going in with a brush, I didn't have that issue <sighs> I don't know, Too Faced, you kind of screwed up. So this is a sad, sad report and white peach palette, you're going bye-bye. All right, guys, that is it for this review. I'm sorry that it was not a happy one. <laughs> I tried to keep it as cheerful as possible for you guys. Um, but if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also hit that little notification bell down below along with it, and you will be notified of any future videos that I have. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.